Hello everyone, and welcome back to Vicious Mockery. My name is Jose Vivas, and I play Delron, the human monk. Now, monks are badass. They're super quick and can punch and kick their way through any monster, and can channel their key to do more damage or even stun enemies, like you see in many kung fu movies. But Delron is actually not based off of any martial artist. I based him off a good friend of mine from high school, who had a heart of gold but a short fuse. He had that take no bullshit attitude. I think it's a great, ad great and dangerous attitude for a D&D character to have. Now, what I love about D&D is the communal storytelling aspect of the game. We're a team of adventurers and we rely on each other's skills to succeed difficult and interesting challenges. While Delron is a total badass that can probably triple kick any monster in the face, as you'll come to learn in this episode, not everything can be solved with fists and kicks. So, thank you for sticking with us and feel free to comment and subscribe. And here's episode 6, Good Bard, Bad Monk. <laughs> That's how you start an episode. You just start flailing at the camera. You tell the camera you're ready to go. Um, oh, man. And so we're looking at episode six. Uh, a lot of crazy stuff. I realized I actually um, did the... Uh, I, I got the, the mithril armor wrong. So uh, Audrin... Yo. Andrew, uh, Audrin over here, he, he gets to pick whatever armor that he wants and it's going to be made out of mithril. Let's let's go around. Let's let's introduce you guys real fast cuz I don't think we did the last episode. Audrin. Uh yes, I am Audrin the Faithless, often called Audrin the Hopeless or Audrin the Hapless. I am a human paladin uh, with a folk heroic past. Cool. Um have uh, joined with uh, my party here and I'm now garbed in mithril half plate. All right. Fancy. Sexy looking. Fancy. Yeah. I am Aoti the Bard with my little friend Mouse named Tone and his big cheese wheel that we will now continue to carry with us mm -hmm. unless it starts sweating and smells terribly. And I, I get the opportunity of being able to save every one of you guys. Yeah. Set in the tone of Flash, Gordon. <laughs> Flash! Save every one of you. Sorry. Led by your <clears throat> inspiration. Uh, <laughs> uh, I am Delron, a human monk. Uh, currently taking a nap behind a bar, waiting for some people to show up, or be, waiting to be awoken uh, at some point. And I would like to point out that it got hot overnight, and I am currently not wearing any pants. <laughs> oh. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and uh, I am Alfea, the Eldrin Sorceress. I was standing watch because I actually don't need any sleep, and I woke up these two, and Goode heard me, Doog. Uh, <laughs> and now we're gonna see what's up, because two red men came in and started yelling for a bugbear that is now dead. Right. So, um, yeah. and, and me, the last person to get you to introduce myself, uh, I'm Marker, I'm the DM. Anyways, um, <laughs> and uh, let's, let's do this. So, uh, Doog, the proprietor, the owner of this place, uh, sullen, stuck in his emotions right now, uh, was sort of uh, wandering around his inn when he noticed that uh, Althea knocked on the door to one of his rooms and heard her whisper something to uh, the people sleeping in that room. Um, then everyone hears, hears, hers, 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 and, and uh, there's no words in that sentence. And then uh, it hears, you know, Graf! Get down here right now! You need to come and talk to us! And uh, they see a goblin tied to a chair facing the towards the bar. And, um, yeah. Is the floor slippery? Yeah, but they haven't actually entered yet. Damn. The floor is slippery. <laughs> I feel like one of these guys might be named Taserface. True. Also, I would like to point out, I am the only one down there. We're coming. I yeah. know what's happening well, now. No, you've got a tied up goblin like tied to a bar. True. And I have some oil to stop them, so. And the oil, yeah. Just, We're coming. You know, backup will be appreciated at some point. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's stealth downwards, right? It's stealth to the hall. All right, so you guys want to do this in initiative order? Sure. Yeah, we better figure it out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Okay. And is it plus our dexterity as yeah, well? Yeah, it's okay. a plus two. All right. Yeah, a really big number, bigger yeah. than all of your guys' numbers. Oh, for sure. <laughs> all right. Can I have that die? That I have 21. Because that's got the biggest numbers. Oh, that got the biggest numbers. <laughs> 21 20. for Aoti. Modded 20. Modded 20 for Dell. 
funky almost hit you. Oh, this is the one time I'm like putting on new armor, so I only got a 15. Five. 15 and five. <laughs> She's helping me put on the armor and her yeah. wristwatch gets caught. It's a whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> There's watches? <laughs> Magical watches? Magical pockety watch. It slipped out of my pocket, wrapped around my wrist. Mm. We didn't Happens. know we were on to something. Fight was happening. All right, so uh, here's how it's gonna go. Aerdi is going to go first. Dell will be second. Audrin will be third. Uh, the uh, red guys will be uh, fourth, That's and so Althea, you'll be picking up the ring. Now you mentioned okay. that they were large goblins, or is that just kind of like on first look? They we just assume they're large goblins. They but they're are actually other creatures. They uh, you you haven't actually came downstairs seen and yet, seen yeah. them yet. Uh, but uh, they are large people, so they, they're basically they're not goblins, you're six though. foot tall. Yeah. But they're not goblins. Mm, well, or a couple of They're hot. I would imagine they're they look noids. like the size of dwarves. If they're goblin like, but red and big, they have to look the size of dwarves. They're actually the like size of humans. Dwarves. Okay, so oh, they're humanoid shit. size. Gotcha. They're okay. of the hot variety. When you come downstairs, I will show you okay. a picture. Okay. okay. <laughs> Come on, be better than last time. A little better, actually. Just a little better. And what are you doing? I am stealthing. Okay. And sadly, I only have a 10. I wanted to stealth to the stairway to she peek. Goes, Shh, be very quiet. <laughs> and then she tripped. Trip. Oh, fuck, cheese wheel. Actually, <laughs> fuck you, cheese wheel. <laughs> All right, uh, so you're going to move half your speed. That means uh, you, you want to do like double move? So you move like 60? I just wanted to move to like the feet, top actually. of the stairway where I could kind of see them. Sure. Okay. Uh, you right. sort of see down a little bit, mm -hmm. and they're kind of looking around. They're actually looking up the staircase. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, they're going. Oh, they're looking up the staircase. Oh, shit. Because they're expecting Garf to be from right. coming from the upstairs, uh, but they actually see coming in. They see Doog. Oh, oh. okay. And yeah, they point doing. at Doog, and Doog. yeah. Yeah. What the fuck was he doing up? I was trying to secretly oh. follow him. Your insomnia has gotten to us. And I, am I able to lie? <laughs> uh, yeah, what would you like to do? Uh, they, don't, they don't see me yet, right? As far as you know, no. But they are looking in your direction because they have seen Doog. Okay. Doog's like in front of me. Yes. He's down the staircase. Um, closer to the ground than he is to the top. Would they know besides their goblin friends? Or... or or not the goblin, but besides their, who they're looking for, right. would they know anyone else would, that would be paying residence here? Like, I uh, unknown to you. Shit. Uh, is there a way in history I know if, if other goblins don't like tieflings? Uh, Can I, like, yeah, give me a knowledge history. <laughs> Definitely not gonna love us. Well, they don't. I don't know that yet. Give me a second. That was pretty good. Um. Uh, 19. Uh, okay, so uh, as far as tieflings are concerned, goblinoids just hate whatever it is they want to hate. They they hate everything, and if they can get money off of you, they will. Um, tieflings? The world doesn't have that many tieflings. As far as you're concerned, you're one of the only tieflings that you've seen in um, sectus in a long time. And the weird part is they expect you to be red and you're blue. So, as far as they know, so I have you're, no just, idea. you're just, you're, you're the same kind of asshole that this guy is. I'm a bitch. <laughs> I'm an asshole. Just a couple of dudes. I'm trying to think so hard. Uh, um, um, going to get killed if they walk in. I got them. I'll, I'll, I'll protect them. What I you guess. Want? Maybe. Because for some Can reason I, I do that. <laughs> Can you tell what they are armed with? That'd be a perception check. Yeah, why don't you, you wanna, this would be your entire turn. I know, uh, I wanted I know, to do, I, I was about to do. Cause you're, you're doing a bunch of stealth, uh, skill checks. Uh, yeah, I was about and... to do a, uh, this would be if I do a decep uh, deception check. Okay. I wanted to see if it might roll well. Wait, what are you gonna try and do? Uh, I was gonna pretend I was a prostitute that got hired by the goblins to work there and I was gonna get mad at the dude. Shake that money. <laughs> do it. Are you worried? Yeah, that's a pretty good idea. Damn. 17 plus 5, that's, that's high prostitution. That's 20. Bard. 20, what am I? 20, 22, 22? Yeah, yeah, 22. Persuasion? Uh, deception. All right. Nice. Go for it. Uh, not really. So I, I, 
uh, I kind of run down the stairs and like grab Doog and I said, who the hell said you can leave the bedroom? Really sassy, as much sass as possible. Oh. All right. And then I go, you know they're gonna get mad at us and I'm supposed to be working to get them more money. <laughs> who are you? <laughs> Me, I got hired by that big doofus of a freaking bugbear. Gra Garf is up there! Oh yeah, he's in the other room. He's he's having too much fun with my other friend. <sighs> he's not supposed to be having fun! He's supposed to be helping us have him do some work! <sighs> yeah, well I have no control over that. I was just hired to work here while everybody else had their own fun. Oh, oh, oh that makes me so mad! Are you mad? Oh, I'm so mad! <laughs> oh, oh, do you want to kick his butt? I want to kick his butt! Uh, can you bring him down here so he can kick his butt? I don't know. You might want to go up there because I don't want to see what nasty things he's doing. Yo, oh, we're going to go up there right now. Yeah, we're going to go up Come there on, right Come on, human now. slave. Move out of the way. And uh, yeah, the grease on the they, <laughs> yeah. they go in Do and they... they step on the grease, obviously. <laughs> can, can Althea run down and see this? Uh, no, because it's not yeah, your turn. Wanna... It, it's upstairs. not your turn, but it's actually Dell's turn. Okay, first. Well, I was about to like... And then all of them drinks. I'm like, what's going on? And then Audrin, right and then the hobgoblins will move. Right. Right. Hobgoblins. Your wristwatch is attached, so whatever I see, you're kind of yeah. yeah. So th this is this is uh, my my book actually just fell apart. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> everything's falling apart. No, no. Everything's falling apart. So they're that's like what lion-looking right monsters. Uh, they're, uh, they're not lions. Oh, hobgoblins. They're 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 more like red goblins. Goblins is a hop variety. Yeah. They, the hop variety. So you're hearing this now that hobby. you're there because you could hear. Yeah. No, I, yeah, I hear Hobo them. goblins. Well, you're both hearing it, but he's behind the bar because he just woke up. But yeah. now I stalled them in enough to make them really. Yeah, I wanted them to hit the ground first before I popped out, but. Okay. And I, I, don't think I it's kind of anyways. saved Duke. They're still still coming at him. And, uh, <laughs> all right, so. Deception um, checks, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was pretty darn good. So I'm going to give you a. Uh, yeah. Coin of inspiration. Huzzah! So, uh, uh, okay. All right. Now it's Del's <laughs> turn. How would Del like to do? The person who is now awake, um, sitting cool behind right? the bar. You just heard that. Did they come in yet? They haven't no. yet. Like they're about to. But they're about Del. to. Okay. So I don't know if I want to attack them yet, because then they might not come in. They might be like, "Oh shit, a guy with a bow." Now, if they fall, maybe drop their weapons. You might be able to kick their weapons away or something? Yeah, but after they fall. <laughs> but they haven't fallen yet. You can move not their turn. They haven't you don't have a good deception on you, uh, huh? I have an okay Can we deception. Can we hold our turn until they... Deception. Yeah. Why don't we just all hold our turn and wait for them to fall down? Yeah, I might, I might hold my oh, action. Okay. And I'm gonna... Does it move the goblin? Like, are you up there? <laughs> no, I'm gonna... I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna tactically uh, go on the ground to okay. the left. Still on the ground, so I'm still not above the bar, so he doesn't, they don't see me. You're crawling. Yeah, and I'm just gonna set up so like I'm kind of sitting, holding my bow, and as soon as I hear them hit the ground, I'm gonna uh -huh. pop out and shoot an arrow. Okay. Sounds right. good. Keep one alive. We need to keep one yeah. alive. Yeah, well, it'll be a butt shot. <laughs> so, uh, Audrin, um, I know it would take a long time for you to don your armor. But I'm but sort of using DM magic to just say that. You can protect Yeah, it's been four hours and it's light and I yeah. had help and that. Yeah. So can I move and then hold my action? Yeah. So I move just to the top of the stairway where I can see them. They can't necessarily see me. Mm -hmm. And I hold my action again, wait for them to yeah. s fall down. And then when you pop up, I'm going to shoot or run down there. How far can I, how many more steps can I take to get down there? Let's see. Is that fives? It's, it, they're about 30 feet away. I can get 30 feet. Yeah. But you've already moved uh, about 10. Okay, feet so to where they're you 30 are. feet away from me now. Currently, yeah. So I would still, so I would, yeah, okay, so I can't get to them with my sword, but I can still pop up with a, yeah. my hand crossbow. Right. Okay, well, I uh, notch my bow, or my crossbow, my notch and bolt. Duga is actually standing right in front of you right now. Kind of. Yeah. Get out of here. So you, you, pull you him. sort of I just pull kinda, back Go up, up there. Yeah. Go up there, weird human. I'm going to push him to you. Yeah. And then uh, it's maybe. God, humans. their turn. Uh, so um, you're waiting until they fall as well, too. Uh, I'm waiting to see how it goes with Adele. I'm going to follow 
Dell's lead. Okay. Sounds good. So you're just gonna follow up with when you see him attack. Get ready, I'm like, okay. Can... All right, so uh, they're gonna move in. They're gonna both move in at the same time. And of course, they're gonna be affected by the grease. So they're going to have to succeed a dexterity th uh, saving throw or fall prone. And Best they, plan ever. They <laughs> love dexterity. It's like their favorite stat of all time. And what's the DC for this? Uh, because they don't quite say in the book. Um, Wait, what is the DC? For oil? 13. For Greece, they don't say tell you the DC in the... Actually, Greece is really hard. Like, that's really hard yeah. to walk on. I'd say oh, yeah, like a 15. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah but you, okay. you have to imagine that the person who made it, that's the DC that it gets. Yeah. So... Uh, Does it say with the Greece spell? Yes. What it, would be? it says, well, no. Oh, no. With Greece, it's like, oh, it's the DC for whatever the person who cast it. Um, but the the oil of sh um, slipperiness, the the lubricant, um, <laughs> the it doesn't quite say it. So I'm just gonna say it's made by a level one wizard with 13 DC, right? So okay, cool. So one of them makes it, the other does not. So basically, when they walk in, one the first one just whoop, boom, total home alone, and uh, the other one sees his buddy falling, and he's sort of, oh, go, and he's sort of like slipping <laughs> around right now. there. I pop like, out. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, and then you hear I'll say, uh, Aori, uh, did they slip in the oil? God damn it. Because <laughs> I can't hear you when I said your name. Go on. Uh, I'm going to pop out and shoot the one that didn't fall. <laughs> the one that didn't fall. Yeah. All right. No one answered my question. Shut up, Obeyad! Seven. <laughs> Seven. Uh, in the room. You fire. He's right there! And then, like, he's, like, slipping around, and you can't quite get an aim yeah. on him, and you hit the door frame. And, uh, Shame. <laughs> run down, run down! Does, now, does the one prone get a disadvantage? Do I get an advantage in any way? Disadvantage here? for range. That's why I went for the one that wasn't on the ground. Yeah. So, who, wait, who has disadvantage? You would have disadvantage hitting him, I think. On, on the, the ground. prone, yeah. yeah. Because he's uh, smaller target. He's smaller target. But you're above him, so I would say that uh, you're looking above him. Yeah. So I would say there's no disadvantage there. True. Because uh, he's he's laying. Yeah, he's down. laying he's down. Pretty much the he's same not, size. Um, he's not a from your height. And then he, you would have advantage of hitting him because uh, he can't Dodge. quite move as well. So I would give you advantage for that. All right, I'll go after whoever I have an advantage. I'll take advantage yeah. of the situation. Yeah. I agree with the height. Like for me, down on the ground, that would be this event. So yeah. Much if longer. you were on so his 14. level. Plus my six, so modded 20. And so 20 to hit? 20 to hit. 20 one hits. Of us can roll. 20 hits. Oh, here we go. Um, five, nine. Nine damage. Pretty good with this. Fun. Hand All right. Bow. So uh, you fire and uh, still bardically you, inspired. you yeah. notice, no, you're not. You don't have the bardic inspiration anymore. You kind of find that nice spot uh, under his armpit. Uh, this yeah, where that's the, what I was going for. It's where his pits, armor is open. Right. Just, bam, right. and it just hits him like, right there, right when he hits the ground. He just, oh, like that. Which gets him right it? in the ribs. The one is on there, the ground. Is it possible I could bolt him to the ground? Nah, like, that'd be like a crazy kind of if you crit, difficult. If you crit on that, I would have allowed it. But, no, nah, ah. man. Magic happens on crits, not when, not whenever we want to. Not when it's modded. Right. You no, fuck. that mod shit. Anyways. Um, uh, I should have cursed right there. Uh, Althea. It's my turn. Oh, actually, now. the other gob, the other gob, he's prone, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, or the hobgobs are going to, one's going to try and get up, right? Half his movement. Uh, yeah, and he's going to take half of his movement to get up. Uh, this one is going to try and move. Ends his turn there. Okay. Um, uh, so that one, he, yeah, so he moved in, he fell, and then that, he's going to try and get up, and that would be the rest of his turn. Yeah. This one, he succeeded, so he's going to try and, he's going to move Sorry, away from him, uh, away like from him and then uh, he's going to get this goblin right here, but he's going to turn him around, and he's going to be tied up, <laughs> and he, he, he's going to be like, <laughs> and he's like, what's happening here? And, um... 36 things. And, uh... Yeah. Yes. yeah. And that's their entire turn. As I say and that, then I'll, I'll I'm not wearing any pants. <laughs> that's Althea. right. 
Yeah, this situation does not look <laughs> not the sexual. All right, so I'm going to sneak down the stairs Bust and get behind AOD because I want to see it for myself. No one's answering my damn question. Shut up. Definitely. <laughs> All right, so you Perfect see, storm of... right when you go downstairs, uh, you see the, uh, the one hobgoblin standing up and he's got some of his legs covered in grease. And then the other one is turning the other goblin around that's tied to the chair. And he's like, what's happening here? And you just watch that happen. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right then. Um, we might have to try and keep one of these guys alive. Yep. Just throwing that out there. No, we know. Okay. Um, I guess I better cast something then, and it can either be magic missile or ray of frost. Do you have anything with fire? No, no I you only have frost, frost, frost and shocking. In magic missile. Magic missile. Magic missile. Yeah. Okay. Um. I. Hmm. Should I aim for the one that we is already wounded because of you, or? I mean, the one, uh, the one. Frost oh. or shock can maybe, because right now he's probably on like a difficult terrain, on the grease still. Frost will slow him down. Maybe Frost will slow the other guy down. But not so yeah, much. anything to kind of uh, mess with him. Okay, if you then. do magic missile, I think taking one out. Is... Magic missile, yeah, pure damage, then yeah, kill the, you know, just go kill for the kill. Kill green either. Okay, then I yell, nope, I don't yell nothing. <laughs> I just cast magic missile <laughs> at green. All right. Just him, nobody else. Uh, so That's roll the hits. roll the damage. Uh, well, oh, actually, it would yeah. just be three d fours. Oh, never mind. I did roll good though. I just want that to be uh, known. I'm proud of you. Three d fours. Here's your magic yep, missile. Here's all three. I thought I had to roll and see if I hit him. I don't know. Yeah, this is an automatic. This okay. Is one of the coolest spells because it's auto. But so it's low damage. So because five. she doesn't yell anything, I'm gonna yell, "Take that, you greasy bastard!" So I got five. Accurate. Uh, well, actually, we don't know his parents. So, <laughs> uh, amongst them, because they're all plus, Five, yeah, plus three more, so yeah, eight, eight. Yeah. So, how do you want to distribute the damage? Because they're each like little bullets. Oh, okay. Um, I legs. aim for the jugular, and then the Jesus. other two to the legs. So on the same guy. Same guy. All him. All right. Uh, boom! 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 So he like slips out and he falls. This one doesn't fall, but. Uh, <laughs> He actually, you shoot him and he's, he's slipping backwards and he falls out of the saloon door. And I yell, get cucked, noob. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> what she <Damn>. said. <laughs> it's Damn. so much louder. And then, this episode ends with one of us teabagging someone. <laughs> hey, Odie. Yes, we have to desecrate the boxes. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to use Vicious Mockery on the one that sees the goblin. All right. Um, and I'm going to randomly yell, Purple Monkey Dishwasher! <laughs> 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 it confuses wisdom, wisdom saving oh, throw, right? Yes. I have to make a wisdom saving throw? Yes. Okay. He's like, where? Oh, that's on where? the side. He just goes like, <laughs> <laughs> blood comes out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Purple Monkey Dishwasher! Ro roll the damage, please. <laughs> uh, for good support. There we go. It's like, what is it again? Uh... Just it by itself, right? No, no modifier? No. Uh, yeah. So, two. Uh, and then now he has disadvantage on his next attack. Yay! <laughs> Greeny? Uh, well, no, the red guy. Oh, okay. Greeny fell out. I'm, yeah. Okay, yeah. I didn't. I think I'm gonna take care of Greeny. Del. I'm gonna see my uh, good friend, who should actually be in the front lines, but for some reason I end up being. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, downstairs, you yeah. took your pants off. I did take my pants off. I'll have to put those back on later. But since I see this guy coming down the stairs, I'm gonna head up for uh, Green Guy. So I'm gonna put my bow and take out my short sword. Just okay. run at Green. The guy that fell out. Uh, okay. Sure he doesn't run away. So Careful with the grease. The grease. I can do it. It's fine. Right. Deck save? Come on. Yeah, go ahead. Make, <laughs> make a deck save and throw. <laughs> I fucking slipped. That's fine. Uh, Just deck slip with the sword out. Mm -hmm. Slip with the 15. sword out. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you kind of whoop whoop. And I slide on him. Yeah. Nice. And, uh, and when I get there, I do like I slide, and then when I get to him, I do a flip with my sword and land on him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Boom. And he's just he's just non-responsive when you land on him. Oh, is he unconscious? <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was still alive. I mean, he could technically be alive, but you might have killed him. Well, you shot him. I shot him. Yeah, I did. Passed out now. I thought he just got pushed out. Well, when I see yeah, that he's yeah. unconscious, 
I, I guess, turn around. <laughs> and I'll throw a dagger at that one dude. Sure. Which one are Do we I have keeping? any movement left? Wait, that? which one are we keeping uh, alive now? Dead. We're yeah. keeping the red guy alive. We, uh, 15, we fucked up the green one pretty 20, bad. Yeah. 25. You're dead, though. So I'll move five in. I don't know. Yeah. He's just it's unresponsive. Available. Yeah. Right, so, <laughs> yeah, whatever. I, I won't <laughs> make you. I can. I have spare. Uh, <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, and I'll throw a dagger at him. Natural one. <laughs> uh, what? No. It misses as he's like struggling with his headache. Oh, God. Did what is happening? Did you have a goblin on accident? Uh, I grabbed it by the blade too much. Ow. Yeah, so you 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 grab it by the blade, ah, and ah. Uh, so instead of using like a finesse type thing, you just grab it by the blade, mm. and you're like ah. I wasn't like, ready for it. Cuts, I wasn't expecting it. And cuts you for four damage. Four damage. Damn. It's Damn, like a really deep cut. this morning. I know. <laughs> Put on and some pants because you guys were <laughs> drinking. It's the alcohol. And uh, yeah, Audrey. Drink. I go, what's going on here? <laughs> you can okay. move through your friends. Okay. Because um, they'll be happy to move to the oh. side. So as you that guy is essentially at least unconscious the from what we guy, know. Yes. He's, yeah. You're saying unresponsive. I'll yell it out, yeah. When I right, saw well, that. Let's go. Let's go. Says, He's out. So, I'll say, good uh, job, Althea. Uh, <laughs> 5, 10, 15. Do you jump the banister? <laughs> Yeah, why not? <laughs> you know, why not? Okay. Oh, banister. Should I do a check? <laughs> oh, that's sort? fine. That's fine. Um, I wonder if I could, if I should have, should I go behind the bar and attack him? And you, would that be half cover for me? It'd be really hard because you, you, you have to have like that, reach basically. Right, actual, well, all right, I just attack him. Yeah. Let's just, let's Get just next hit this guy. Yeah. Hit him. Fifteen plus my five, so a twenty. Yes. And my eight. Barely. Do three plus my three, so six. Yeah. Uh, so you, uh, longsword? Oh, wait. Oh. Now, if I'm just the longsword, sure. I get a 10, actually. D10. Yeah. A D10. So can I re roll that uh, as a D10? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I mean, if, if you're that. not using your shield. I'm, I don't have a shield. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, with a nine. Boom, nine plus three, so 12. So. We're damn. trying to keep one alive, everyone. Oops. I can stabilize. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, you, you cut him and it goes down and he just, yeah, you cut into him and he lands onto the ground. I'm Ugh. like, sorry. Was, uh, than we thought, guys. God damn it. <laughs> so My who, bad. Who has the worst damage that they can do? All right. Look. Give yourselves all 50 extra experience points. Yay! Yay! I gave you experience points just... off air for the last encounter, uh, but uh, there were 200 each. Um, so, um, or 100 each, so uh, 50 for the all of you. So, so she doesn't have to waste her uh, healing spell. Can I, which one of the two looks the have, least worst? I have one that won't be wasted. Oh, okay, you wanna do it? I have a Spare, of the, a spare of the Dying, which is cool. if I touch a creature that has zero hit points, the creature becomes stable, Perfect. and it has no effect on the undead or constructed. Okay. Hmm. Perfect. So, uh, so which one do we want? <laughs> I don't know which one's not. Which one did the talking when he came in? Uh, the red big one. Big red. Yeah, this is that uh, one. Nurg and Flurg, I don't remember their names. Nerf and Durf. Uh, Nerf, Nerf, Nerf and Durf. Durf. Uh, Nerf and Durf, and you actually don't know that, but yeah. Did we zero them both out? Uh, yeah. Okay, so we're like out of uh, initiative right now. At this yeah, point. oh yeah. Dead, excuse me. Because we shot the other one in the dungeon. We tie him up. <laughs> okay, wait, why don't we search them and whoever has the most valuable thing on them, that's smart. the one you'll bring to life. Very smart. That's why she's the leader. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I'm the leader Do now. it. So, okay. So one of them. <laughs> do uh, it. You came up with the idea, you do it. <laughs> one of them has, uh, they both have uh, chain mail and shields, long swords and long bows. Uh, I'm gonna take one of those longbows. Me? Yeah, yeah. Just because it's like, Damn, you know, every once in a while. Do you have a perception see what I to have see if any of them have like letters or like messages what, what on them? Sure. Longbow? Yeah, I'll take one. Okay. <laughs> I slip on the grease. She gets <laughs> her, gre her greasy hands get all over the letter. You roll a like, one. Oh, I rolled a one. a one. I'm just gonna say I slipped. Uh, Ow. Fuck. Yeah, so you basically there's some residual grease on their persons <laughs> and it you, you you like slip on them as they're tying ah. them up. God damn it. <laughs> My yeah. ass hurts now. Thanks guys. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. 
and uh, <laughs> one of them has kind of like red colored mail, and the other has green colored mail, uh, okay. and Do neither we... looks more <laughs> valuable than the other. Okay, all right then. We're gonna take Big Red. I'm gonna take his long sword, and both of you take a long bow, huh? And I'm taking. A Unless long somebody, bow. do you need a long bow? I mean, I was nope. just taking a long no, bow. No, I don't need it. I would just enjoy it. Okay, so. Oh well, take right, a long so bow. I have a long bow. Okay, I have a long bow I mean, then, and you have a long sword. Long. I'll take one of the short bows that one of the goblins had from sure. before. I just, yeah. you know, instead of when we're. I feel like there's going to be a lot more opportunities to uh, get the jump on people. I might as well sure. Long okay. So we're getting big red? Short yeah, we're so. getting big red. Let's tie them up. Tie them right, up real so good, like. I get up and I'm like more. like rubbing my butt because it hurt to fall. Right. <laughs> Stupid guys in the grease. And so I go up to him and I was like, all right, motherfucker. And then just kind of. Spare the dying. Yep. And so he's just unconscious at zero. Uh, can I go to the other guy just just to see if we can get two of them? Can I try and just do a medicine check to try and get him co conscious? The guy that she knocked out. CPR. Yeah. Yep. Hold on, tie him up first. Tie him up. <laughs> Nine. Um, he's dead. You kill him more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As far as you know, he's gone. He's dead. Nine. You're like yeah. blood. <laughs> blood. Yeah. He's dead, Jim. Uh, oh well. One guy. Yeah. Anyone else have healing? She has a heal potion. Oh, I just have him a away? healing potion. He's got, he's got uh, yeah, he one needs point some, uh, of lay on hands. We need to wake the big red up. He's at zero now. Right, this stable. is how it's done. Give him a point and give me Boom. Can I do that? Yeah, one. You want to do one point? Yeah, just one yeah, point. Just one point. Boom. One point. He's... <gasps> and then he's tied up and he's like, oh. I go, what did you see? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Well, he died. I mean, yeah. that would be interesting to find out. How's the other side? The afterlife. And what? Was... Did you see Daya? No? Uh, I, I, I move them out the way. <laughs> I physically go out to like, fair. Shut We up. had our chance. <laughs> we had a chance. Fair. Uh, what this? What's up, Big Red? <laughs> what? Oh. Hi. Uh, we killed you good. <laughs> uh, what, what's going on? We slap him. Stay with us. Oh, <laughs> oh. Don't, for, you're one, gonna for one fight. damage. You're gonna <laughs> knock him out. Was it a damaging slap? <laughs> you're gonna knock him out. Why would you interrupt me? Why? Who does gonna, that? Because you need to concentrate. Okay. We have questions to ask you. All right. All right, ladies. <laughs> I don't know what Take questions it away, ladies. Okay. Right, um, I sent you. Oh, and I go, she's not really a prostitute. You don't know that. Who's I the pink know. lady? That's true. Right. Uh, she might be. I wouldn't tell anything to you. Okay. Well, Stay we'll, with we'll, us. Oh! <laughs> I mean, we'll just. I wound her. We'll kill you again. It's all good. Oh, it's better than this. No. Okay. Getting well, slapped then, by a former yeah, point, we right? just got vicious uh, mockery. Getting slapped by a little, a little piss ant. We're in a little a cuck over here. Hey, We're I'm, in the, <laughs> I'm gonna punch him to the don't, mouth. Don't, no. <laughs> don't take my lines. We're in a tavern. <laughs> I grab some salt. And I pour it in his chest to him. Oh! <laughs> oh! Don't I bite the, the line oh. and get a shot ready. Oh, you, oh, goodness. Don't do body shots on the Off of it? <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Can I have another? <laughs> I go, dude, this, this might is, be your territory. What part of the world have I in? It's a weird sexual part of the world. This is weird. I lived with a hermit for like 20 years. I don't <laughs> All right, all right. All right. All right. Just oh. you. He's like breathing heavily because the wound hurts. Okay, I'm gonna. He's been slapping him. him. I wanna, Stop hitting him. I, I want to <laughs> add a little tension to him though. Sure. So I'm not gonna slap him, but I'm gonna grab him and get my dagger and just put it right in between his crotch. Oh. Let's oh. see. All right. And I just say, if you don't answer truthfully or nicely to these two uh, beautiful young women, Tiefling and Elf, and uh, this blade gets closer <laughs> each time. <laughs> So, I, I'd like to intimidate him when, when Cut I can. Cut off your Johnson! <laughs> there's right. too many So uh, you can make an intimidation check with advantage because there's situational. <laughs> Go Sweet. my blaze okay. near his junk. All right, yeah, and I have an, inti an intimidation plus six, or we can just use my charisma, which is pretty good too. Damn, you're plus six intimidation. Uh, I wanted to be intimidating, oh, no. but a nice with big advantage. fat one. With advantage, because I have the blade with on advantage. With advantage, with okay. advantage. Roll again. Okay, cool. One. Eight. Oh. Well, okay, this one is retired. It might be going into the dumpster later. <laughs> <laughs> so, if anyone uh, a free D20. Uh, Four, 14? Uh, yeah, total. Yeah, yep, yeah. 14 total. Uh, and how do you want to do it? How do you want to intimidate? All right. Um, I have to do a sh uh, four hour meditation again because of you. 
I'm not playing around. He'll take your, your business. Um, and I'll, I'll start taking fingernails. Ooh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, you guys are really rough. But I've been through worse. Blake, I mean, closer. you just oh, died. Not yet you haven't. Yeah, I've been through worse. So. All right, I'm going to do persuasion. Okay. Since that's the only thing I can think is diplomacy. <laughs> it's yeah. diplomacy in this. Um, and I got a 20, mod 20. <laughs> Like okay, I'll make them stop because I know they're annoying. Big Red, just answer our question. All right, please. What is your question? Not bad cop. Well, one, who sent you? The bishop. The bishop. That oh, dick. Suspected. Bishop. Where are you? Do you have? It's the pink lady. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's a code word for someone I don't know. Can I do an insight check on that? Do you yeah. have any orders? Where are your orders? To bring back the sixteen. Car. Uh, <laughs> as far as you know, yeah. If he's being honest? Yeah. yeah. Compartmentalized uh, like knowledge. Up? Yeah. Does he, where are your orders? Do you have any orders? Yeah, I got orders. Yeah. Give me your orders. Bring back Garf. You know? like anything, <laughs> it was, it was, anything written down? It was bring back Garf. Nothing's written down. The bishop just told me. He got, he, the, the, the paladin guy came up to me and he said that uh, me and my brother here had to go and get Garf and leave the rest of his crew here so they could keep stopping any idiots who try and stop us. That's all I was told. Go get Garf. Stop you from what? Going to get Garf. <laughs> oh, well, I guess the, the bishop's been uh, up in uh, the place for a couple weeks. Wait. Oh, I assume uh, you guys are the party that uh, the idiots sent to stop him, right? Sure. Stop them no. What? Oh my <laughs> you know, taking over Tides Raw. Oh. Is the bishop guy the paladin you were talking about? No. Who's the paladin? The bishop's buddy. Mm. Like his bodyguard or his buddy guard? More like a bodyguard. What's his name? Is it Dickface? <laughs> Dick, Dick Face Banana Nose. Uh, <laughs> no, there's a paladin. This is gonna get cut. I have to be an anti. <laughs> and uh, cut to when he knows the name. How about? Uh, well, his I name is uh, Eldrick Fountain. Eldrick. Yeah, I don't know uh, much about him. Now, as can I do a history check of some sort? Sure. Would I know anything about this guy? Go ahead, history check. Eldrick Fountain. Ten. Not really. I guess not. Uh, you know the Fountain name. Mm, okay. It's a noble family. Um, you've heard of it? Fountain? Fountain. 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 Yeah. Um, Fountain. You're not, you, the name you've heard of, uh, because they, uh, it's one of the noble fam families in Sectus, but you're, you're from Grimwater, so you don't really care too much about Sectus, you've just seen the name. Um, do you deal directly with the bishop? Yeah. He sends me orders, I do stuff. Cool. Who does the bishop surround himself with? Well, he's got a uh, he's got his band, his real mean looking sons of guns. Oh, not a musical band. And who are they? <laughs> right, yeah. No, not a musical. That's band. a band. No, oh, they don't play music. There's a guy there who plays music. Hmm. Oh, so there is a bard. Well, but he, <laughs> yeah, we we make him do Jesus stuff. Jesus, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Mm. <laughs> uh, yeah. Who are the people who the bishop surrounds himself with? Who are they? Oh, there's uh. uh Felizzi, Flizel, Flizel, Flizel. Yeah, she's uh, you don't want to get on her bad side. Which side is that? Oh my god. Right? Left? Oh, yeah. The front. <laughs> okay. You don't want to get on her bad side. Potentially so she likes the pink, pink lady. She could be. Uh, is she pink? And then there's uh, no, she's not pink. She's not pink. No, no, no. She's tough with a sword and with her spells. Ooh. She'll stab you twice. Once with a magic missile. The other with a sword. She's tough. Crap, she also knows magic missile. That's oh, no. my that's my ace in the hole. That's everybody's ace in the hole. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she I think I think she wanna she must she said something about her brother or cousin. I think she's related to the bishop. Hmm. I don't know. And then you got uh Steel. You got Steel Borrow. Uh yeah, Steel's a tough guy. You uh pretty much every all the guards that are walking around uh Tides are all, they're all his. He's, uh, he's, he's kind of, uh, grouped up with, uh, 
with uh, the the bishop because I guess it's gonna make him some money. Do they work for the guilds? Any of the guilds? <laughs> 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 that's I pretty laugh funny. That's, that's pretty good. Yes. That's itching. pretty good. You know what? No. <laughs> Rumor is the bishop might have. But he don't talk about it. All right, buddy. How do we get in there without them noticing us? I don't know. There's guards with wolves that walk around the premises. And where's this premises? It's the, usually it's outside the, the, of the, the town. The, 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 <laughs> name of the town that we're going to. Tides Raw. Tides Raw. Uh, okay, so he's just living. Okay, so it's not like a secret. I have a question for you. Uh, good gentleman, goblin, good goblin man. Um, <laughs> we read some letters. We talked to your friend, the bugbear. We also killed him. I killed him. Good, um, he's an asshole. Yeah, he yeah. was. Uh, there was some sort of mission or operation or thing that's starting like now? Yep. What is that? I don't know. Wasn't a part of it. Garf was supposed to be. Hmm. Yeah. I go to take one of his <laughs> fingernails. <laughs> oh god, that All is right. going to be quick. No, so... I just cut. I want He's going to die. I made a promise. Well, you wait until we get it. <laughs> How much work can we ask well, him? I guess this man's losing a couple balls <laughs> and a fingernail. <laughs> Look, I told you all that I know. I have to keep my word. The bishop <laughs> is very secretive. He, I've literally only seen the guy twice. I get all my orders from Aldrich. Aldrich tells me to do something, I do it. I'm just in it for the money. Look, I I would do whatever they told me to do because it's all part of our order, and I get paid for it. What's if your you order? If you want to kill me, you kill me. What's your order called? The order of the goblins. Oh. I say we leave him tied up here order in the. Order of the goblins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I'm going to torture him. No, I take his, his fingernail off. first. <laughs> Wait, guys. Uh, <laughs> where where, just gets where do we find the rest of your order? Where's your order located? Well, we were hired oh. by the bishop. Wait. They having us do odd jobs. But where we're do you just getting paid? Come from? Like, where's well, your? And there's a place up the west of here. There's a cave. A I cave. now remember my notes. Where's this cave? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, now you can take his. Uh, yeah, no, Alright, fingernails mine now. Are you looking for are you looking for my home? Yeah. Where the yeah, goblins where are coming is. from. Oh well, uh that that's uh right in the middle of uh right in the middle of the forest over there in the west. We call it Westbrook. It's West a Westbrook. nice place. <laughs> yeah. I wish I never left. We're gonna wipe it out. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I have the worst part. Yeah, <laughs> have fun. Yeah, have fun. They'll love that. They'll see so you coming cute. a mile away. Okay, maybe we won't. Where? <laughs> We're, we're busy right now, but we'll figure it out later. Just kill me already. I don't even want to be here. You guys are annoying. Fingernail mine. Okay. <laughs> uh, you break his fingernail or whatever. That's enough to think. And he off. just passes out. I say we just leave him tied, guys. Goblin here is tied up to you. What we are they going to do? leave it to Droog or Doog to, um, uh, we'll leave these guys tied up. We'll try and send the the uh, authorities over here now that it's safe to collect these guys. Sure. Maybe they can get more out of them. We'll send authority, and I think in the meantime, to protect the premises a little bit, I will take the two heads of those hobgoblins and spike them out on the front. Wait, no, not one of the, the hobgoblins is alive. Well, yeah, I, 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 no, but I stay by my previous he's statement. He's zero. <laughs> she did one damage to you. Yeah, I, I stay by my previous statement. I take both okay, hobgoblins so head. Him and you put their heads on the spike. And spike them, but just in case anyone. Goblin friend type. And I take him up on the front, yeah. too. No, okay. wait, 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 did you go ahead? No, no, uh, Duke stops you. He, 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 I wanted he to stop you. He goes, thug. no, 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 stop, 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 stop. I, I, I might be able to get him to do stuff. Yeah, that's what sure. I'm going to do. Yeah, okay. I mean, <laughs> if you want to, go There's for no it. one else here. He's talking about <laughs> sex stuff. No. Oh. I mean, oh, now dude, that you mention it, I'm... We're taking your bottles I'm of slippery. I'm going to have to kill Duke. That's fine. <laughs> oh my god! You guys, you realize that I, 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 all of you. <laughs> I only put I only put a little bit of sex jokes like, into this, and you guys just ram the full thing in. You just go full ran. sex joke. Come I on. mean, tied up to the bed, I could take, but stuff oh with goblins, man, I'm gonna have to kill a man. <laughs> <laughs> we went balls deep on the sex all right. jokes. Um, I'm persuasion. Yeah. I got natural 19 plus three. That's and, and 22. How are you persuading? What are you doing? I am going to nicely talk to the goblin. Okay. I give him 
one of the different things of cheese and okay. a different thing of wine uh -huh. and a gold and one gold coin. And I uh -huh. go, all right, we won't kill you because my friends are crazy and want to kill everything. <laughs> when but, she points at me. <laughs> <laughs> but Duke here, you owe him big. So we won't kill you if and only if you listen to what Duke wants. That makes you comfortable. <laughs> I see your face. So I that makes you comfortable. Yes. So you're gonna help him clean. You'll get the stuff that's in my hands, and you're good. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll do whatever Duke tells me. Okay. Okay. Or we'll be back. Or yes, my friends are crazy, and we'll kill you. And oh. I don't want that. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll do whatever Duke says. Yeah. Absolutely. Duke whatever God. Duke says. And don't run away, and you'll be back to kill me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sounds about right. Oh no. <laughs> Good All right. All right, undo him. That, yeah. That, that. that was nice, Aiden. And then... Uh, <laughs> we yeah. killed way too okay. many things today. <laughs> I mean, they're goblins. <laughs> All right. <laughs> goblins have feelings, so too. You guys, you guys are going to get in the uh, the wagon here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we load up the wagon. Sure. It's all of us on, back on the wagon. We have right. dis, uh, disposed there's, of the bodies. There's a smaller empty wagon that's next to yours. That was the wagon that you believe the hobgoblins came in on. Oh, we take a look in the wagon. Let's it's look at totally this wagon. It's empty. It's empty. It's empty. Okay, it's, this wagon is empty. It's like totally empty. Is there... We put some of the dead bodies in that wagon, maybe? Do there... they have a horse? Yeah. Is there a sigil on the wagon? Nope. Okay. We There's take... no marker on them whatsoever? No, not on this wagon. It's okay. pretty a plain wagon. You would assume that it was just supposed to be, you know, to bring back Thing. Okay. the people. Yeah. Right. Well, we take empty their horse. Them. Yeah, have we a strap it to our horse. Double horse carriage. <laughs> so it's like no, really this. <laughs> yeah. So so if one breaks, you just flip it around. <laughs> you just flip. You just tie. <laughs> you tie a uh, horse on a horse. So it's two horses. Of course, of course. <laughs> like that. That's how you do it, right? A horse on a horse. That's yeah. how you get more horsepower. <laughs> What's your horsepower? Two. Two. <laughs> Oh my god, I hate you all <laughs> so much. And I congratulate oh. you on the spiked heads. It looks very threatening and sends a real message to everyone. Yes, right. very inviting. Very. For a, uh, <laughs> until the proper authorities uh, get here. Yeah, Duke, Duke is going to come out and he's going to go, Oh, can, I think they, they took my horse and carriage. Can, can, I, I'll, I'll be, can I keep one, please? Okay, all take right. the horse down from the other <laughs> horse. Because I, I, I could use it to maybe rebuild the business. We go, yeah, but you know that we now have forever free, you know, stay Friend. here. How many you things of wine life. did we have again? How many what? Things of wine did we have? We have 15 gold worth, I think. It's 10 bottles. 10 bottles. Ten bottles. They're kind of cheap bottles of Apparently. wine. Apparently. Yeah. But uh, he basically says, uh, Duke basically says, that it's the only way I can rebuild my life. I have to have some means of travel. And it, it, at any point in time, if you need a place to stay, I mean, feel free to come by. Free cheese. It, it, it'd be nice free to see wine. familiar faces. <laughs> like, free sausage. I look, at, I look at him very like, you're actually gonna ask for free wine when we just took his fucking wine. <laughs> it's free. Yeah. So, I think that's fair. And we're gonna use it for something. Yes. It's gonna be very important to us. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a bargaining chip. I go up and I give dude like five gold coins. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, actually, I go up to him and say, do you have any other thing Whatever goods you have right now that can be possibly sold as like traveling merchants, I'll pay you for right now. Oh, um, like other than wine. I, I, I would have to look around. It would take me a long time. I don't know what the goblins have, you know, turned over or destroyed. In like the next thirty minutes to an hour. Ah, uh, okay. And then he goes and he, uh, he, um, he goes and he uh, goes in the back and. Uh, he literally starts baking, and he says, yes. "Could you give me uh, just a, a, a few, maybe an hour or two? Can we just wait? an hour or two. Yes. Uh, do uh, I'll break. be done by." And then he tells you whatever hours it takes yeah. to cook a couple of loaves of bread, and then he comes back with these awesome <laughs> big loaves of, of nice. beautiful <clears throat> bread that he baked. Um, Make sandwiches. Um, you might want to put on some pants. Mm. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Althea has been uh, meditating, <laughs> so she's like halfway through that four hour meditation. That's like, mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay. So, Next check to put my pants on. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> what was yeah. the natural 17? Uh, however, that much that costs, I don't know. 
I double the price, whatever it is. I don't know. It's, 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 it's just a few loaves of bread. Uh, we'll call it half price. You saved my life. Well, I want to give you enough to like rebuild your stuff. I just, I really need this. Um, I, I gave him we... five. So yeah, I'll give him another five. Yeah. Or seven, because I hate this 37. I want to make it even. Okay. <laughs> so you give him seven, seven gold for just a couple loaves of bread. He's like, hey, that's far too much, but nope. you know, whenever you need <laughs> safe, a safe then. haven, <laughs> just consider this place yours. Okay. Take these gold pieces to forget about your wife pieces and get your life pieces together. <laughs> and I'll, I'll, let, I'll let the guilds know that <laughs> all of you are amazing and you've done amazing work and, and I'm indebted to you. Easy on the kinky stuff from now on. <laughs> Trust me, I can't get it up. Uh, oh, I just keep thinking about the goblins and things. And if you touch that goblin inappropriately, I am going to cut off more than one thing from you. I'm glad I'm in a meditative state. <laughs> Not my kink. <laughs> all right. Not my Good kink boy. at all. <laughs> Shall we go? <laughs> and yeah. with that, we take our leave. Okay. All right. So um, <laughs> it, it takes you about eight hours uh, to drive the, 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 the wagon. And as you're, you're driving it, you're gonna notice a considerable drop in temperature. And not just because the sun goes down, but because the actual area is cold. You start feeling like a sea breeze. And it's not just your regular sea breeze, it's, it's a cold, it's got a chill behind it. And it creates uh, sort of an ominous view as you see a very, very large fort in front of you built around what was uh, once a city or a town, a beautiful town. And it's a large, large uh, logs, 18 feet high, um, kind of building this fort around it. And you see once one large building, two story, but very, very tall on the inside of that uh, area. You see uh, guards walking around, wolves um, walking around, and then one, uh, which, uh, one guard with two wolves stands in front of what looks to be the entrance. Um, uh, and he's uh, sort of whistling at another guard as, as, as that guard makes the uh, rounds. You see kind of a, uh, uh, a, a tent uh, city, a uh, shanty town, if you will, off to the left, and it's a couple hundred feet past the fort, or beyond the fort. And you see just people wearing rags walking around this tent little shanty town. That's not good. On the inside of the fort, you see two uh, two people, one uh, wearing a light leather armor with tattoos all over his body and, and his green skin and, a, and a, a large feathered hat and then an, a woman walking around wearing robes and she's got a, a sword, a long sword and blonde hair mm. and elven ears and you see her walking around with him with her arms folded and she's just, you can see them walking towards that hotel as you kind of can barely see on the inside of that fort. And there you go. That's Tides Raw. An ominous, freezing cold place that lost all of its majesty. We'll see you guys next week. Stay tuned. Stay tuned.